Tony Robbins Seminar Review, The Power of Success. I'm gonna let you more into this after this. Robbins Seminar Review, The Power of Success. Hey, it's DP here from Positive Game of Life. I created this channel to give you growth and wisdom and take your shit to the next level. So if this is the first time you've been on this channel, smash the subscribe button if you wanna watch more videos like this. So, Tony Robbins, what can I say? I mean, he has transformed millions and millions around the world, including myself and of course, maybe including yourself as well. So you're here to wonder if the seminar is worth it. And it is a day event and I really hope you guys understand that because a lot of people think about this seminar that it should just be Tony Robbins the whole day, but it's shared with a group of six speakers. So I'm gonna get right to this review. At this seminar with Tony Robbins and the Power of Success, with the six group of speakers that will be in front of you, the day starts roughly from seven to 6.30, it says on, on the listing. But here's a tip of the tip, make sure you go there early. I was there around 5.45 to six o'clock because it's first come first serve on your seating arrangements. So if you really wanna get there, get there as early as possible because of course, anyone that goes watch Tony Robbins or many of these successful speakers, they're high achievers and they're eager beavers and they are gonna be in the front line. So to get the best seats possible, um, go there early. The prices from the seats go from roughly $250 to $2,000 Canadian. Um, $250 from all the way to the back to roughly $1,700 to $2,000 in the front. Um, for me personally, I was blessed to have the front row seats because, I mean, it was a magical event. Tony Robbins has transformed my life and I felt like this is the time I got to actually, you know, high five them, love them, hug them, you know greet him and take pictures with him. Actually, in the power of success, when you purchase the front, front row seats, which is, I believe the diamonds, they call it, they call it solitaire in other events, but the diamond uh, seats or platinum seats, they would call it, uh, you will be able to take a picture with Tony Robbins. And also you get a bunch of goodies, you get a couple books, you get, you get um, a water bottle, a bag that says power of success and all those other gadgets. But personally, I, I paid for front row because I want to take a picture with Tony and, and tell him how much it mattered to me and how he transformed my life in a brief way. So it's truly up to you. I mean, some people would get from this event where they're in the back and they still feel the same energy and the same vibe. And then of course, when you're in the front row seats, I mean, you, you feel the environment a lot stronger, especially he's right in front of you. But don't, don't, don't worry about if you got middle seats or even in the back seat, because Tony, the way he handles his seminars, he walks around the whole building and he makes sure everyone can interact with him in so many different ways, to tell you the truth. Like there's moments where he would go all the way to the middle and we'd be looking up at the screen from the front row. So if you can't get the front row, that's okay. He will for sure walk the line and, and make sure everyone can reach out to him and, and you know, see him in a closer view. So. If, if this is the first time you ever going to a seminar in general, know that each speaker has their own words of wisdom. I mean, a lot of people just like, okay, I just wanna go for Tony Robbins. I don't care about the rest. I mean, it's truly up to you, it's your preference, but don't forget that these speakers are actually high achievers and they've been through so much. There's stories from, you know, of course all the speakers will be different at different events, but speakers come from, their, they can be real estate investors, they can, you know, be stocks and, and, and investing in, in stock markets. Uh, there's even Cinderella stories where they came from rich to broke, broke to rich. I mean, each speaker has their passion and dream and Cinderella story to share to you. So, I mean, don't forget those speakers are actually amazing as well. So when you go to that event, make sure you go there early. That, that's one of the biggest things for me because if I didn't go there early, diamond seats or the platinum seats, they call it, you got one to six rows. So if I didn't go there early, I wouldn't actually get dead center front row with them. I would actually, you know, one to six. So it's truly important to go there early so you can get your seats. That's number one tip that I would say for sure for this event. So 
let's get right to it. I'm gonna walk you through all the pros and cons about the Tony Robbins Seminar Review Power of Success. All right, who am I kidding? Pros and cons, I, I really don't have any cons about it, only pros, but that's just my preference. I mean, when I would go to the washroom or I'd go on lunch break, I mean, there was a couple bad reviews I would hear that some people would speak about. But I mean, for me, I, I don't really have a negative mind frame things. And I would like you guys, if you went to this event or any seminar event, uh, have an open mind of things. Like you gotta really actually play all out in these kind of events. I mean, the mixed reviews I was receiving to, from other people is like, oh, I just wanted to see Tony Robbins. I don't care about these speakers, yada, 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 yada. And, and the thing is these speakers, they're very successful businessmen and women. And, and they actually have to reach out and attract people to events like this. And if you've been to seminars, majority of the speakers actually create products and been through so much and they actually have so much knowledge that they wanna share it with you. So of course they talk about their stories and, and they talk where they came from and who they became in the, in the process. And, and they usually have a product for sale or you know, a training program for you guys to, to purchase. And a lot of mixed reviews I kept on getting while I was in the washroom or I was in break, um, they kept on talking about, oh, why, why are they trying to sell, sell stuff? You know, it's kind of weird how they just talk and try to sell stuff. I mean, that's what seminars are about. They have to attract people to events like this and, and sell. And I'm all about selling. I mean, you gotta remember, they're supposed to attract people and, and, and sell their products. And, it, and just because it's not Tony Robbins doesn't mean that their products are not great products. I purchased some products in the past in certain seminars and it helped 10x my life. So, I mean, you, you can't really justify just because it's not Tony that, you know, these people are just trying to sell sales pitch, you know, that pitching formula where they're just, you know, amping it up and then try to sell something. I mean, these products, some of them are actually really good. So please have an open mind on things. Of course, there's gonna be speakers that have amazing products or, or some of them might not have products that, that you like to purchase, but it's okay. Just go there with an open mind and understand that there is gonna be some sale pitches, but it, that's what they do, it's their business. And at the same time, if you're watching this and you own your own business, you understand the concept of selling. So just try to keep an open mind on that. But cons for me personally, I don't really have cons. I mean, I understand how it works. Um, I mean, the only little cons, which is like first world problem con I had was the water dispenser ran out once in a while where, because you're, when, you're, when you're actually at a Tony Robbins event, you're sweating and you're, you're up and down. But I mean, besides the water dispenser running out of water, I'm sure you can figure out water, right? So again, here's a tip of the tip, bring water buy water, have water bottles with you. I mean, prepare to sweat, prepare to be jumping, prepare to be hugging, loving, and, and, and going all out. So after all the speakers that are done speaking, um, of course, the main event, Tony Robbins comes out and everyone is going berserk. As you can see, the crowd goes crazy and because of course it's Tony, right? I mean, who wouldn't go crazy? But the key thing is another tip, the major important tip I would say is play full out, play all out. Play it like it's, it's, you're going to a concert, play it like you're going to a football game or, or a hockey game. I mean, if you are just standing there and you're just watching a hockey game or a concert and you're just sitting there watch and drinking your beer or whatnot. You're not really gonna feel excused. You're not gonna feel excited. You're not gonna be happy. You're not gonna be in the zone. And that's what Tony Robbins does when he delivers. I mean, I had friends that sat in the back that told me that some people were not playing full out. They were just standing there. And I feel that if you are planning to go to a seminar of any sort, also Tony Robbins especially, once you play full out, you get the most out of it. I mean, the key thing that Tony Robbins makes sure you do is get in peak state. And that's what he does. He delivers that. He makes sure you're at peak state. He gets you up, he gets you going. So be ready to be jumping, high-fiving others, hugging other people. He actually gets you on workshops with people, like quick workshops, two to three people, even four people. He would get you to work on your goals or, or a couple of different things, like if, what, what make drives you, what pain 
sorrows that you go through, what are the two main things and what are the things you would like to change. And he gets you really interactive and in the zone. And, and that's the whole point of it. I mean, when you're just sitting down, um, just listening and just watching a seminar, you're not really in the zone. You're not really getting as the, at your full potential by getting into your peak state. So make sure you play full out. Like, I mean, you're, you're going to this event, go for it to, to have a blast. I mean, that's the whole point. You get so much more by being at peak state and, and you'll understand when you get there. So be prepared to be hugging, be prepared to step out of your comfort zone. I mean, that, that's also the reasons why they let you do these uh, workshops is because they take you out of your comfort zone. And you gotta remember when you're out of your comfort zone, like I always say in all my other blog posts, you, you know, if you're curious, you're confused, you're scared, you're growing, right? So that's exactly what they want you to do. They want you to be interactive in the zone and, and, and play full out. That's, that's really key about this seminar. So just to get a run through of everything, I mean, Tony Robbins, he pretty much delivers full effect. You know how Tony Robbins is. If you've, you've already seen many YouTube videos or, or you, you've heard stories about how he is, he gets you in the zone. And in this seminar, he pretty much breaks it all down in increments. He takes a little bit of business mastery. He takes a little bit of des uh, date with destiny and a little bit of UPW, Unleash the Power Within, and he jam packs it in five hours. Very nice. How many of you came here because you want to grow your business, be more successful in business, I'm curious. Quite a few, wonderful. How many of you came because you want to transform your body, your health, or your energy, your vitality in some way? Because I know you've heard some speakers on that, wonderful. How many games would you want to enhance your relationship? So he would talk about your emotions, right? For example, uh, your, your, your physiology, like the three main emotions that, that, you know, drives you, right? So your number one would be physiology. So it's pretty much how you move your body, your, your facial expressions, right? Like for example, when you wake up, smile, like the more you smile, your facial expressions actually controls your emotions. But if you're grouting and you're down and out, then I mean, you, you, you're not really gonna send off the right feed to your brain that your emotions are gonna be sad, right? If you're looking sad, down and out, kicking dust, you're gonna be sad. So your physiology he talks about, he talks about focus, what you focus on, right? Your, what you focus on is, is, is where your emotion goes pretty much, right? So if you're focused on the negative, the dark, the pains, the sads, the sorrows, well, those are the results you're gonna actually come across, right? But if you focus on the positive things in life, gratitude, happiness, love, you know, all the, all the bright things that make you tick, um, those emotions are very important as well. And then the third one he goes with is language. That really controls your emotion. If you're, if you're swearing and, and, and you're, you know, you're saying very negative words or disrupt words with your, you know, your spouse, your, your, your loved ones, I mean, those are the negative emotions you're going to be feeling. But if you're saying, I love you, I, I appreciate things, I, you know, you're, you're saying positive words, um, of course, that will lead to positive results. But I mean, I could speak about this all day long with you about it, but I'm sure you're willing to hear it from him. And he's an amazing person. And of course, the way he speaks about it is, you know, of course, he explains in much more detail. How many of you, where would you put energy in its importance of getting things done, having a great relationship, enjoying your life, with zeros let it go by, and then I shift from being angry or frustrated or stressed or worried, and it's hard to go from us immediately. And I'll give you a little clue real fast, I'll give you an example. One of my great sources of stress, you need to figure out. Yeah. So but again, he pretty much has it all jam-packed in a five-hour smash out. And when you see this seminar, you're gonna be like, oh, whoa, it's only like three hours he's gonna perform because you know usually the seminars run long. But you gotta remember he delivers. So be ready to stay later as much as it says seven o'clock ending or 6.30, he's gonna deliver for sure. That's what Tony does. So he's gonna actually go four hours to five hours. And he actually asks us, you know, some of the, the presenter, the host actually asks us, is it okay if you stay longer? And well, of course it's Tony, we're, we're there for Tony. So as long as he wants, it's, it's the better, right? And so be ready, he's gonna deliver. And, and you are gonna have a magical event, I swear, I mean, it really is how you handle it. And so it's your preference on how you take this uh, review. Three, use your voice and body. Ready? Three, go crazy.
review, I have a couple tips that would make your stay at this event more pleasant. And I kind of wish I actually had a review like this because then I would be more prepared, but it's okay. That's why I'm sharing it with you guys. So tip number one, early bird catches the worm. You must go there early. There, like I said in the beginning, there's high achievers there that are thinking the same thing. You, if you get there, register early, you'll actually have a better seat. And the cool thing about this one day event, I mean, majority of one day events, you get to keep that seat. I mean, this doesn't apply for UPW or Date with Destiny, but this applies for this one day event of Power Success. You keep the seat the whole day. So from the morning, you'll honestly keep the seat, whether you go for break, coffee, lunch, washroom, that's your seat the whole day. And it actually, you know, it, it gives you a closer view of Tony and you get to keep it. So be there early. I literally was there about 5.45 to six and there was a lineup already. So be prepared to go there early. Number two is comfortable clothing. I mean, there's times where it gets really hot and gets really cold. I mean, you'll be jumping around and you're sweating and then all of a sudden it gets really chilly all of a sudden because there's air conditioners and it all matters on where you sit. But if you're sitting around Tony, Tony has air conditioners blowing non nonstop. So be prepared for the chills and the hots and the colds and whatnot. So wear a loose, you know, a loose jacket or some sort and then also shoes. Be ready to be jumping around so wear comfortable shoes for me personally i was casually dressed and i wish i kind of knew that tip but i should have knew because I, i've seen all of all his videos and whatnot but so i'm jumping around and you you be prepared to be jumping and this and that and when i was doing that my dress shoes well of course i had blisters at the end of the day because i played full out but it's okay so wear comfortable shoes and number three number three on the list for sure most important Bring your notepad, bring a pen, be ready to write down it all. Like even the speakers, write down everything they're saying too as well. Cause you can get, you know, each speaker has their own individual story and their own Cinderella story and they're all successful. So don't forget that they're all successful in their own way. So write down all of it. I mean, learning from all of them. I mean, I, I get it. A lot of people just kind of pull out the books just for Tony, but I mean, don't forget these, these, speakers are actually high achievers as well so I mean play full out write down everything I mean once you write it all down then at least you get you know all the tips and tricks and strategies that they've done and they are very successful and they are very high achievers also of course Tony right and here's another tip of the tip instead of just always writing it down also record it what I did was I recorded it on my phone so I had the voice recorder playing at the same time underneath my seat so I never missed a beat and so even though as I'm writing it down, I still had it recorded and it actually, it's pretty cool because I actually take now my phone and I Bluetooth it through my vehicle. Now it's kind of like an audio book and I replay the, the, the seminar. So it's pretty neat. And number four, number four is water. Bring a bottle of water with you because I mean, for me personally, we got these little cups and, and they weren't really, you know, it, they weren't really cutting it because you're, you're sweating and, and you're jumping around and I just kept on doing multiple trips to grab more water. So bring a water bottle with you. I mean, even just buy a bottle of water and then go there and then you can fill it up or, or bring a bottle of some sort of water just, just cause you gotta stay hydrated. I mean, you're gonna be jumping around and, and, and going nuts, right? So there you have it. I mean, if you, if you fucking, if you stuck to this the whole time, I, I really appreciate you and I, I hope I over delivered on trying to give you the best review possible. And I tell you the truth, this is not just a, just this one power success seminar review. I mean, in a way this could be used for all seminars. So, you know, in, in the future, I'll be going to UPW Singapore and I'll have a full review of that of the four day event. But I mean, if you stuck to this the whole time, thank you very much. And I really appreciate you guys. And, and I really hope you got enough, uh, deliverability from this review. And at the same time, if this is the first time you've been on this channel, I mean, hit the subscribe button below for more reviews like this. I do reviews, I, I give inspiration, motivation, and again, I take your shit to the next level. And at the same time, everything starts off with a positive mind frame to get you positive results. New chapter.